Welcome back. This is the Tutor Wizard. I'm Adrian. Please subscribe right here. Hit the notification bell. We're doing Linear Algebra 1. This is Chapter 2, Matrices. Section 2.2 .2 is Matrix Multiplication. What we're going to do is we're going to squeeze in a bunch of matrix multiplication properties and some examples just so that you see when you want to start using algebra with these to solve linear systems and you want moves. These are the, um, these are the properties that we're going to talk about today right here. Catfish or Easter egg. I don't know which one those are. I'm old. Let's do this. All right, the first thing we're going to point out is if we consider a square matrix of size n and the zero matrix, the n by n zero matrix, which is all entries zero, we talked about the m by n zero matrix, which is the rectangular one, but we're going to talk about square matrices and focus on that in general. So we have our first property that if we have square matrices, the zero matrix times the square matrix is the zero matrix. And... A times the zero matrix is also the zero matrix, so it commutes coincidentally with everybody and is equal to itself. Instead of proving this, this is actually a theorem that this statement is a theorem. Instead of proving the theorem, let's just prove the theorem for the two by two case. This is an arbitrary two by two matrix, and this is the zero two by two matrix. Therefore, we have, if we do one of these, we're going to practice essentially matrix multiplication. That's why we can do this. If we do Let's do A times 0, that is A, B, C, D times 0, 0, 0, 0. By definition now, this is 2 by 2, 2 by 2, the inside indices match. This size will be the outside indices, and that says I'm going to get a 2 by 2 matrix, which is A times 0, oh, we should have left ourselves room, make two rows and two columns, I know. Make yourself more room, says Jasper. I know I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I made myself more room. Then we do A times zero plus B times zero. And then here I'm going to get A times zero plus B times zero. And then here we're gonna get C times zero plus D times zero. And here we're gonna get C times zero plus D times zero. Which is, of course, Zero, 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 zero. Get over here then. Oh, it's raining outside. You're all wet. Okay, yeah. We're doing matrix multiplication properties. Okay. Time out. Snuggle. You're all wet though. This one's Jasper. If we do the same thing, so that gives me, I'll squeeze it in there, zero, 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 zero. So A times zero is the zero matrix. If I do it the other way, zero times A is going to be zero, 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 zero times a, B, C, D, which is still going to give me a 2 by 2 matrix. We're going to get 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. And 0 plus 0 is 0, which is the 0 matrix. Therefore, I've proved for 2 by 2 matrices that this property always works for an arbitrary matrix A. 0 times A is always 0, and A times 0 is 0. Let's do the next property. All right, next up we're going to do two multiplication properties, associativity and distributivity. I don't think I said that right. You can distribute, but they always do this backwards. Actually, we should call it the factoring property. Let's call it that anyways. I don't have to just say distributivity. What we want to see is not that, yes, you can distribute that onto both, but we want to see it in reverse. Usually in a problem, you're given this mixed up, and then you want to pull everything apart is what you can see. If you can see a matrix A in both terms, you can factor that out in clever ways and separate things. For these properties, let's first do deal with this one. Let's compute this matrix multiplication. If I do this, what we're gonna do is, these are going to be in, say in chapter four in the, this series, we may have standard matrices of linear transformations. And then we're gonna say, if you want to compose a bunch of linear transformations, you multiply there on the left, always on the left, you multiply their associated standard matrices. So then if I get a bunch of those, I have to compute them together. Now should I start at the front or the back? What this says is associativity of matrices doesn't matter whether you start at the back of the computation of the three things. It's a binary operation, but you're combining three of them. So you have to do it two at a time, which I'm about to do. And it says it doesn't matter whether you do it at the back or the front, that computation will be the same. 
whether you do it A and B multiplied first and then do A, that product at, multiplied by C, or you could multiply B and C together and multiply that product by A, and you'll still get the same result in some other matrix. Why is that useful? You're like, I don't even, so uh, this has a bunch of zeros in it. I would much rather multiply this by a bunch of stuff than these two. So if you want to work hard and not smart, I would multiply these two first. But the property says that I'm allowed to associate the bracket and multiply these two together first. And then I've got a whole bunch of zeros, which is going to make my life a whole lot easier. So let's do that. This is immediately equal to, I'm going to associate the brackets. That's one zero zero times two, three, five, seven multiplied after that by one two three four that's why i would do it and then now because i'm allowed to associate like that this is going to be a much easier multiplication for me and much quicker on an exam for instance that's now going to equal now i'm going to get a two by two matrix which is the outcome multiplied by one two three four this is how you work fast also copy everything down now i'm going to multiply this this is going to give me two plus zero is two and this is going to give me three plus zero is three and then I'm going to get zero, 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 zero. That was much better. And now I still have two zeros, which is going to make this multiplication a whole lot easier. Or you could multiply all these non-zeros, do you see, to multiply that, and then you would have killed them at the end anyways, which seems like, for the same result, a whole lot more work. So I want to try and work smart and associate things. Therefore, this one now becomes, I check again, this is two by two, two by two, so the outcome will be two by two. Here now I'm going to get two plus nine is 11 and four plus 12 is 16, and then we're gonna get zero, 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 zero. This is the matrix multiplication, but if you compute it the other way, try that for yourself for practice, but that won't take you much longer, I'm gonna guess, and you're gonna get the same thing anyways. So don't do that. Let's do the next ones. For distributivity, what you're gonna try and do is see the product of two matrices inside there, if I have the same thing, if I have one zero zero one multiplied by two three five seven plus, or if this is more complicated, one two zero negative one. I'm not actually going to compute. I'm just going to show you what I mean by this. I should have wrote it over here. We can write it backwards, anyways. And then say I have one two zero negative one times one two three four. What this property says is I can write it like this. This is in both of them. This is what I see. I'm allowed to factor it out, it says. So I can factor it out to the front and compute the addition first and then multiply those. So what I would get here is I'm going to get 1, 2, 0, negative 1 multiplied by 2, 3, 5, 7 plus 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I can add and multiply if I want, but whichever one makes it easier for you in the context of the problem that you're going to start getting. These are the only moves you're allowed to do specifically we don't have this if you check the previous video matrix multiplication in general for the sizes again here I'm being lazy but technically speaking I'm supposed to say this is all well posed wherever so this technically means that this has to be M by R and this one has to be R by N and then that means this one has to be N by K and then the final resultant will be M by K because these inside indices match and these inside indices match. I didn't want to get into it, but they're all well posed where they are. Usually we're going to deal with square land and then it won't matter because it'll always be n, 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 all the way across and then it won't matter. So, but specifically my point being is the one property we don't have is three straight out. We don't have A times B is B times A, so don't do that. It has to be on the left when we multiply matrices. When we do this, AX equals B, and we want to multiply here. You cannot put this on the other side. You can't write it like this. It has to be on the left. When I multiply it on both sides, on the left, because this doesn't work regardless of what we're doing. This is coming right away. All right, let's do the next property. All right, for the last property of this video, oh, this was something, we were talking about something else. There's a bigger structure going on that we're not going to talk about in this class, but you can take 225 and I might talk about it there, or take ring theory. We're going to have a section on ring theory. You can talk about that. But out of the vector space structure that we're creating in this chapter, there's also other structures where the set of all n by n matrices are a ring, a non-commutative ring is what we call it, and then there's these subgroups in there, or sub-rings in there that we want to talk about. Either way, 
that was something else we were talking about, which is not unrelated to this. Let's do this property and focus on the indices because eventually we erase them and then you forget why this is backwards and this is not the only one that does this. In the next couple of videos, we're going to do properties of inverse, multiplicative inverses of matrices. And when you do A, B, inverse, it flips them also. So the order is going to be flipped most of the time. So at first, yes, fake it till you make it. Just remember that when you distribute the transpose in there, it flips them around. The lazy way that they're going to write this in the book most of the time without the indices is this. A, B transpose is B transpose, A transpose. But the first few times you meditate on this, this matrix multiplication has to be defined if the inside indices match and the outcome will be M by N. And then that, so that's going to create an M by N matrix, which is going to get transposed. And if I transpose an M by N matrix, I should create an N by M matrix. And then therefore, for this multiplication to be defined, I would have to have the inside indices to match and the outcome will be N by M, which will be the outcome when we do that. And then that says that this computation will be some other matrix C and this computation at the end will be some other matrix C and it'll be the same matrix. It's saying more than you think. Instead of proving this though, what we're gonna do is attach a PDF below and then you can see this in the comments. But if you need to, what we're going to do is just sort of prove it or flesh out the idea for a couple different matrices of I pick the nice case where and again this is why they start doing this because they're going to go to square land where everybody's square and then the indices will be n n n n and then it won't matter when you flip them but you have to remember to flip them that's my pitch on make sure you flip them when you transpose and when you invert so what this says is let a be one one zero negative two and let b be the first four non zero Fibonacci numbers Verify the above property. Actually, and that's not true. There's a one, one, two, three, five, but I wanted the distinct, the first four distinct non zero Fibonacci numbers. Yes, that's close enough. What are we going to do? I want to verify this property. So, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to actually compute three things to give my point. Let's compute the left hand side first, but then let's compute the right hand side and we'll do B transpose, A transpose, because it's square, it'll match. But even if it does match and you got this right, with non-square ones, it won't work out because you'll be like, this didn't define, and then you'll catch it, and then you'll be able to figure out that you forgot to flip them. So then what we do to you is we give you square ones, and then you won't catch that, but B transpose, A transpose, in general, does not equal A transpose, B transpose, because even if I add that T and an extra symbol in there, those are still matrices, and in general, matrices don't commute. So when we do this, if you compute this one instead, you're not going to get the same thing that I get, because this is the correct answer on the right-hand side. Let's try that. On the left hand side, A times B is 1, 1, 0, negative 2 times 1, 2, 3, 5, which is a 2 by 2 matrix. Again, if I'm rigorously doing this, which I should probably do in a tutorial video, the inside indices match and the size will be the outside indices. So this will be 2 by 2. When they're square, it always matches and they're the same size. This is the closure property of the MMN or N. What we're going to get is here, I'm going to get 1 and then 3 is 4. I'm just going to use my fingers and not write out the intermediate step now. 2 and 5 is 7. I gave myself a 0. 0 and negative 6 is negative 6. And 0 and negative 10 is negative 10. That's AB. Therefore, so that your brain can see it now. Now that matrix that we created transposed is... 4, 7, negative 6, negative 10 transposed, which is I make rows, columns, and columns, rows. So this first row becomes my first column, 4, 7, and this row becomes my next column. That is A, B transposed. And then you forget or don't even, everyone just nods and goes, yeah, property. But you didn't see how much work there was for your brain to compute in there. What this side says is, the left-hand side says we're going to compute the multiplication first, then transpose it, and then we get a matrix, C. Now let's do that this way, and you'll see, I'll point this out, if you do it the wrong way, you're not going to get the right thing anymore. It'll Something will have gone wrong. On the right-hand side, first of all, B transpose is equal to, let's do it up here so that I have them. B transpose is equal to 1, 2, 3, 5. And A transpose is equal to 1, 1, 0, negative 2. Interchange the rows and columns. Watch the previous videos to find out what transpose is. 
once I have that, I'm going to do B transpose times A transpose, which again, what I'm saying is they're both two by two, so you wouldn't have caught the wrong order if you don't do this. But if you get the right order, this should be now B transpose will be one, three, two, five, and A transpose will be one, zero, one, negative two, which is two by two, two by two. The inside indices match, the size will be two by two, and I'm going to get one and three is four zero and this is negative six and then I'm gonna get here I'm gonna get two and five is seven and zero and negative ten is negative ten which is all blue. it's the same matrix and if we do that the wrong way if I do a transpose B transpose we're gonna get a transpose was one zero one negative two and B transpose was one three two five this is two by two this is two by two, the inside indices match, and the outside is the product. Yeah, why do you think I became a wizard? Because I write them as mantras every single time. Now, what am I going to get? I'm going to get one, and zero is one, and then we're going to get three, and zero is three, and then we're going to get one, and negative four is negative three, and three, and negative ten is negative seven, and that is not the right matrix. That was the wrong order. Matrix multiplication is not commutative. Don't do A transpose B transpose. It's B transpose A transpose. Please subscribe right here. Hit the notification bell. I'll see you next time.